Hey Libra, welcome to your August 2018 Who's My Future Partner reading. This is Lauren with the Clarity Cure. Welcome back. So nice to see you. I hope you guys survived the two eclipses in July. It's been quite the ride. Um, we do move into the third and final eclipse of the year on August 11th in Leo. So I feel there's still time here at the end of July, okay, as I'm filming these, for you to still kind of release what no longer serves you here at the full moon eclipse in Aquarius. It has a six-month effect um, with keeping in mind that um, August 11th is the new moon eclipse, so you can bring in, you know, anything that you want. So really critical uh, to kind of keep that in mind. All right, let's turn these cards over and let's see what we have for you for the month of August. These are some new cards I'm using by Jerry Totten. They're called the Distant Past Tarot. I've been waiting nine months for them. I just received them. I just love them. They're beautiful. Her information is below uh, for you tarot enthusiasts, anybody that might be interested in buying the deck. I put her website in the description box. What else do I have for you? Um, Oracle card by Clet Baron Reed. Oh, nice. Happy, happy. Very uh, positive Libra. Okay, so I'm taking a look at the cards. Let me see what's coming in. Lover's card is your overall energy. Wow, definitely an offer here in love or um, an opportunity to get to be a lover or get to know somebody. Got the Knight of Cups here. This could be a Pisces. Um, Scorpio water sign person, but not necessarily. Okay, it could be aspects of their personality. I've been trying to mention that in all the readings because I've seen a lot of comments where people get upset like, oh, I don't like that sun sign or I don't like that sun sign. I just got, want you guys to be open-minded that this could be an aspect of their personality. Um, these are general readings, so it does get a little cumbersome narrowing down for each one of you, honestly, which sign it is. Like, for instance, this King of Cups uh, represents a romantic invitation. Sometimes it doesn't even really mean that it's a water sign. Does that make sense? So be patient, be kind, be loving. Uh, I get it, though. You know, um, certain signs aren't compatible, you know, but also keep in mind that people's sun si uh, rising sign and their moon sign uh, play a role, okay, in their personalities as well. Ah, as their Venus. So there is a link in my description box below for those of you who don't know your moon and rising sign. I just updated it. I had went to the link and um, I guess that particular site's not available. And of course it does offer another site. So I forwarded the link. I updated a link for you guys to make sure everything's nice and current. You can go there, you put in your information and it tells you um, your moon and a rising sign as well as for a partner um, or potential partner, okay? Um, so definitely an invitation here. Knight of Cups, the Lover's card. What's underneath? The Devil, okay. The Fool, New Begin. You know, I almost feel like this could just be a sexual encounter. Um, there's some kind of indication that <laughs> it might be an offer just to fool around because it's somehow related to the workplace, the work field. Like, it's almost as if you're going to meet this person in the middle of a doing a project or an opportunity to grow your business or a contract. Maybe you're an artist and somebody comes in and wants to buy your work or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, got the three coins here. That's why I say that your first impression of them is somebody that is very artistic, um, What's the word I'm looking for? That they're busy building or working on expanding their um, business, and maybe they come in and offer you uh, a piece of that. Uh, you can see there's tribe energy here, there's money, there's an opportunity to really co create. And it's a three. So threes are all about growth and expansion. You have another three, yeah, three of cups over here. Um, so this is really interesting. Yeah, and how will you meet page of coins? So this is some kind of information that comes into you that, yeah, you got the deal. You you can, you can move forward now um, in this new opportunity. 
and it's a very entrepreneurial spirit. You see this person's being handed money, like you're, you know, really kind of an uptick here to um, move ahead. <clears throat> Financial opportunity from this Knight of Cups, but also they're looking for a little, you know, side nookie or something over here, okay? Um, I don't think it's real honest because you got the devil under here, uh, got the full new beginnings and the star car hope. And I think at first, you know, there might be some, you know, don't be surprised if you're completely attracted to this person initially. Um, and of course you want to go for it. Uh, but um, I don't think it's going to work out in the long run. Um, we'll get there. I don't want to jump ahead. I mean, Either way, you're rolling out of August being really, really happy because you got some coins. You have some success coming in here. Oh, my God, Libra, this is really awesome. This is the Six of Pentacles. This is you getting what you deserve. Um, this is how this relationship, this, this situation will affect you. Okay, so this is like ka-ching. You know, you're, you sold something. You... Um, get a loan or you get a grant or you get a promotion okay or a client pays their bill or pays you for a service it's the generosity card and this definitely indicates money coming in and um, yeah you're feeling you're feeling really good you're feeling really happy here um, I think there might be some confusion with this person you know mm, making advances at you some of you may go for it other the others of you will just think about it okay you get the four swords here is your obstacle and this is needing to take a break okay um, or maybe you're so wicked busy you don't have time to think about it right because it's an obstacle and you go for it anyway but what I like here in the end, it's like we aren't together, but that's good. You got the three of coins. I mean, three of cups. Emotionally, you you decide to spend time with your friends and uh, uh, celebrate your accomplishments in this uh, business opportunity. And I think romantically, honestly, you're going to walk away from moving forward with this relationship or taking it to the next level. I don't think there'd really be much there anyway. Um, so maybe some of you want to fool around and have some fun anyway. You know, it's completely up to you. I don't think any, no harm, no foul over here, but you certainly don't want to jeopardize any kind of business relationship. All right. So it might be over before it starts because you're like, oh, hell no. I want more than that in my life. You know what I mean? You're like, shit, I'm going to find this missing cup here. I want more in my life. I want, you know, uh, I choose, you know, I choose what I want. You know, and it could be some kind of weird blessing in disguise. And even on some one hand, maybe you're like, shit, you know, I really like this person. But, you know, I want to grow my career, okay? Because there's definitely money and business here as well associated with this particular month for you, definitely. All right, Libra. But very, very interesting reading. I love it. Uh, feels real specific. But again, that's why I love when I tell you guys to, you know, make sure you follow me because I feel like, I focus on my subscribers, and that's good because you get a you get a free reading, okay? And maybe that's not perfect for everybody, but every month is going to be different for everybody anyway. So take what resonates with you and what doesn't. That's fine. Come back next month or check out your moon and rising sign. Like I was saying earlier, there's a lot of characteristics there with maybe your other signs, cross-watching too that can, you know, really resonate with you. And, you know, even if you get one message out of the whole reading, it's worth it, right? Uh, four of Swords, like I mentioned, is your obstacle. We aren't together, but that's good. I'm happy, happy. I'm moving forward in business, or I do want to move forward, um, you know, in this relationship that just might be physical. Um, I'm hopeful for my future. Very successful here with the Six of Wands. Awakening, really nice. We've got a lot of great energy coming in. Let's pull you a Romance Angel card. Let's see what else is coming in. Four of Swords, Three of Cups. 
happy, happy, joy and contentment, a sense of fulfillment, a feeling that all is well. Your desires are effortlessly fulfilled now. Find joy in the present moment, whatever is happening, and be satisfied with the way things are. I like that. You're free from shackles and longing for um, achievement because it's here. It's coming in definitely in August. This is so cool. I love this reading. Very, very nice. Let's see. Trying not to shuffle too loud, but trying to also get the energy on the cards <coughs> as well. Happy, happy. Yeah, it's like, I love this guy. It's like you've unlocked <coughs> the key, right? And you come out of the keyhole and you're like, yeah, baby. <laughs> I'm on top of the world right now. Very cool. All right. Three, three. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, I know. I'm a shuffler. You deserve love. You are lovable. So there you go, you know. You deserve the real thing. And not some affair, you know, or one night stand even, okay? Uh, you are lovable. That's really, really nice, Libra, you know? And I think you know that anyway, okay? Um, you're like, oh, hell no, you know? I don't want, I'm, I'm, I'm looking to get rid of what doesn't serve me anymore in my life, you know? And this whole thing has been a weird blessing in disguise and, you know, I've experienced the lows and I've experienced the highs and now I want more, especially in love and a future partner, you know? Um, and look, this is quite promising because you're looking this way, you know? And it's like, you're really walking into a brand new day for yourself and on your journey in general overall. And I feel like the eclipse definitely has something to do with this, all this new energy coming in for you. So ride the wave, take advantage of it. I think it's wonderful. Focus on your future, okay? Um, if you feel like there, this is kind of rocking your world a little bit, take the downtime. Um, that's the only, I wouldn't say warning here, but you're going to be so busy and, you know, you have this person maybe hitting on you and you're just like, ah, you know. Um, my advice would be to just take some time out, okay? And even if it's a day, you know, do a self-care day, you know, go for, you know, spend some time in nature or do a spa day, something like that, um, to gain the perspective, okay, that you um, will need, especially if you're feeling stressed out. I mean, good things can make you stressful too. So it's like you're just running high on this adrenaline and there's might be a bunch of stuff coming at you and... And you're trying to sort everything out. You know what I'm saying? So really cool reading. Um, very nice, Libra. I wish you all the best for August. I'm available for private readings. Make sure you come back. I do weekly tarot now as well for all signs. And love readings will be over on Vimeo if you want to expand this and see what August has to say, you know, within a real relationship for those of you that are looking um, for uh, relationship advice or already in love. This is kind of like for my single folks. Head on over there. They'll be up next week. Just be patient with me I'm trying to get this all done for you guys. So namaste. God bless. And we'll see you in September. Take care. Bye-bye.